So it's that time of year for spring cleaning and so I'm up here at my workout clothes getting some spring cleaning done and I want to share a few of my tips and tricks. As we move into new classrooms, many of us inherit many different things and um, my first year teaching I inherited the, these and what I did, they were binders full of, I, I know lots of worksheets and everything, but for my kids all this stuff is really good for handwriting and fine motor control. So what I did then is I went through and I recycled all the copies, but then labeled all the different binders so I knew where I wanted to find some different um, activities. Like this one right here is for Autumn, St. Patrick's Day, Easter. This one's for Five Senses, All About Me, um, Introduction Letters and Nutrition. Um, and that's one way that I've organized my binders. Since I teach in a special education classroom, um, I'm kind of overzealous about plastic tubs just because they stack so nice. And I recently got these because sometimes plastic tubs, they after a few years, like eight or nine, um, they used to have some wear and tear. But this way, since they're clear, I can actually see what's exactly inside of them and they stack so nice. So I've been able to go through a lot of my different things and reorganize so it's easier to find but also stacks a lot nicer. What's great about these two is this year our school is going to under construction so I'm going to have to move everything out of my classroom. I did that a couple of years ago. It took several car loads. But this time, hopefully having all my stuff organized a little bit nicer will make the move much easier. I'm just not for sure what to do with till the end of the year. So what I've started doing to get ready for the summer, like I said, moving, is I have started going through all of my paperwork um, and as then I've labeled a tab, so this is going to be just for this last year, as my keepers, life info, staff meetings, PTA, CIC, and tech ideas. And it's all inside the binder. And this way it's just one little binder rather than tons of loose leaf paper. And then I can recycle or shred the other information that I don't need anymore. It gives me a chance to really go through, do I really need that form from seven years ago? Probably not. So this is one way that I'm kind of consolidating. I want to label this 2012-2013 and I can make another one for next year. And it's way less and easier to keep up with than a ginormous um, amount of just loose leaf. I was talking about loose leaf papers. Another one that since I'm a special education teacher, I have to do state testing. And so here's all of my materials that I might need that's not going to be loose leaf anymore inside a binder that's already made forms that I can use, um, ideas, and stories, which is all inside one binder. I know this is not reinventing the wheel, but something a little something that I do just to reorganize a little bit and really go through and figure out those papers that I really need to keep. Okay, so I am an organizer, I really am. But as you can see, I have this one hot mess of a closet. The reason it's such a hot mess, it's because it's that closet that can lock. You know you have one. Anyway, so my plan for this is, I've already started going through some over the last couple years, but if I'm not using a material, and I haven't used it probably in the last three years, there is no reason for me to keep it. One of the things our school is doing this summer to help with spring cleaning and moving, is we're gonna have like, um, a school supplies exchange. So teachers will have the opportunity to pull out all those school supplies that they don't want to use anymore or can't use anymore and put them out for other teachers to kind of rummage through and take what they might need. So even though I might not have any use out of it, it's one less thing for me to pack, another teacher might get use out of it, and it's going to clean, be clean. So just a few tips um, tip for spring cleaning is, you know, going through your, your items and organizing it better. Um, getting those loose leaf papers in a better form or even offering those items that you're not going to use anymore that you don't necessarily want to give up and giving those to other teachers that might have better use out of them. Um, but I am going to list the, um, my volunteers. I have in my classroom and some parent volunteers too to help me um, shred some papers that are not confidential of course but also help me recycle and help me um, move those items that I'm not going to use anymore. So good luck in your spring cleaning.